if you're having to write an essay if you're 11 plus you will have to sort of demonstrate you've got a good vocabulary that you can structure a piece of writing but also you need to show that you can use more than just three exclamation marks in a row never use three exclamation marks in a row so you'll be given usually you'll be given about five minutes planning and if not take five minutes to plan and whilst you're at it draw the punctuation pixie just as a reminder that you need a little bit of everything so you'll need speech marks somebody needs to say something somewhere one exclamation mark and absolutely no more brackets just to show that you know what those are about put in one question can be rhetorical one where it says and did he know what he had done question mark it doesn't have to be within dialogue um, make sure that all of your capitals are there especially for your name I've just been going through some old papers today and it, looking at those that are passed those that are failed do you know what children that don't use capitals for their beginning of their first name and their surname they don't pass 11 plus so make sure all your capitals are there but especially for your name watch out for full stops now don't make them huge full stops but be careful of tiny little dots like that just make sure that they're genuinely seen uh, you'll need some apostrophes so a contraction apostrophe like wouldn't don't overdo any slang allow yourself one and also a possessive apostrophe so um, the dog his bowl so you can show that you know how to use both of those have commas in a list Sarah is fat comma gorgeous and generally quite loud you must have this comma between fat and gorgeous but if you put a comma before an and in a list it's illegal you'll get arrested that may be a lie but nonetheless no full stops there at all dead hard that went um then just for the sake of if you were looking for punctuation you would have no for nothing uh, but that's not relevant to what you're doing in an essay but make sure you've got examples of all the different sorts of punctuation only use a colon or a semicolon if you know what you're doing. Um, if you're not sure what you're doing, they, you're not going to impress anybody by using it wrongly. It is better to use your punctuation elegantly than it is to use it wrongly. Incorrectly would probably be better, wouldn't it? See you soon. Bye.